finally, 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 I finished my table, my uh, rustic farmhouse. This is what I'm calling it, makeover. So if you're interested in seeing how I did this on my own with, yes, Walmart chalk paint, keep watching. of clips that I'll be showing you as I went through. I'm going to show you mistakes that I made and th sorry that's sugar. I made the mistakes that I made pretty much. So first I used um, this Waverly paint. Let me see if I can. In white in the uh, matte finish. Yes the matte finish. This is the chalk paint at Walmart. This was, I believe, in $9.97. This um, Waverly chalk paint in the color Mineral. The Antique Finish. And these, like I said, these are all from Walmart. They're chalk paint, um, and I'm not sponsored by no means. This is just what I chose to use. First off, um, I will probably be doing a voiceover and tell you what I did as I go through the clips and just show you what I did wrong and, and what I would not recommend and what I'd recommend. So here we go. All right, friends, I also wanted to mention I used um, the Waverly matte finish for the this part of the top of the table and then part of the top of the seats as you'll see. Then I use this, sorry I'm trying to get light here, on the white in the base of the table um, and it worked out really really good to kind of seal the chalk paint. You don't have to but I did because we are rough on our furniture. Alright guys I wanted to get behind the camera and show you the finished product before I get into all the befores. So here is the top of it. Okay. And trying to get, sorry guys. Here's what the seats look like. Let me put the, okay, here is what the chairs look like. So basically I redid the seats and then freshened up with the white chalk paint on the rest. Let me try to put out here. You can see. I hope you guys can see it. Guys, here is the before. It is covered in fingernail polish, watermarks, uh, paint, glitter glue, probably clap craft, oops, sorry about that, craft glue. <laughs> uh, you name it, it's on this table, guys. And it was like a cherry wood, high gloss varnish finish. So here is the tops of the chairs where you sit, sit down. As you can see, it's uh, scratched up and covered in who knows what. So I'm trying this to show you guys I a little bit. up, guys. You do not have to sand the table down for this technique. I had something else in mind I thought I was going to do, but of course I didn't do it. So you do not have to sand, and this is a mistake that I made. You don't have to do. I just covered them with two coats of chalk paint. Then the table, let me see. I'm trying to show this here. I did one coat of chalk paint. I'll show you the color in just a second. And then I mixed one part 
chalk paint to three parts water and did a wash with this color from Walmart and it's called mineral all right so I have been researching researching and it said now I want to stain it so I'm going to use this top coat and I'm gonna put one coat of this on everything and then I'm either going to use this to stain it or this. So I'm going to practice on, I'll show you guys, I'll practice on something to see which color I want to use. Um, that's where I'm at right now. The bottom I'm going to do a white. really excited because it, that's the look exactly that I wanted so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the chairs and then move on to the table yay So guys, this is the second coat of the stain, and that's what one coat looks like. So I decided to do two coats, one coat. So this is what the table looks like with one coat of the Waverly Antique Wax stain, and actually I really like it. But I'm going to do a second coat, just to give it a little more dimension. I hope you guys can see this. Isn't that pretty?
So guys, this is one coat of chalk paint on the bottom. I hope that you can see this. And then this is when it's not chalk paint. You can see where, oh, the sun's blaring me. You can see where, you know, I got stain everywhere and it's kind of more like a creamy, dirtier color where the chalk painted version is more like a fresh, you know, refresh. I like the distressed look of it, but then I'm going to, if you can get up close, um, I'm going to freshen up the bottom of the table base with the white chalk paint. And that is the Waverly White from Walmart. Thank you so much for stopping by again, and until next time, bye!